Last but not least for this evening, we are going to unbox and check out our new intake horn setup for the 12 valve. Uh, now that we're running a P-pump, we can run a little bit different intake horn setup, but I do want to double check, just make sure it clears the uh, first gen master cylinder. Just make sure we don't have any fitment issues uh, before we send it off to get powder coated. And it is in the box right over here. I couldn't wait, I couldn't wait. I already unboxed everything that way we didn't have to just get right to it. So of course, from our good buddies at Banks, check this thing out. I know quite a few of you guys in the comment section were like, you gotta check out the twin ram. And I've had my eye on it for quite a while. And now I'm not, now that we have a P pump, uh, I guess with the VE stuff, I think I read into the fact that it wouldn't work with a VE setup. But um, now that we switched everything, we can now run this beast and it is, it is awesome. Take, take a look at that. Just, it's double, double everything. Oh yes, oh yes. So the biggest thing with this thing is, uh, if you look at your factory one right here, uh, your factory one is a little bit more towards the front of the setup. And what that does is it just starves everything towards the back. Now, number six cylinder is notoriously known for, you know, running a little bit hotter than most. So that, this, this intake system fixes a lot of that. Um, it just makes everything more equal, everything more balanced. Um, and you can actually see, let's get the intake horn set up on there. Actually uses these, complete, they're completely wide open. No, no grid heater needed again, of course. This thing definitely doesn't need a grid heater. But here's the second one, like so. I'm not sure if these are in the right order or not. Get this big guy on here. Oh yes, it looks like everything fits very, very nicely. The uh, injection lines go underneath of that, kind of snake through right here. Let me try and throw a bolt in this thing so I don't have to keep holding it. That is much, much better now that I don't have to hold this thing. We are squeaking by with about half to three quarters of an inch, but it does fit. It looks really, really good, and I can guarantee you it's going to do a really, really good job making sure we got some equal airflow going to these back cylinders, making sure everything is staying cool, staying... Man, this thing looks so good. This this is just not cutting anymore. I don't know. We might have to spruce it up. What do you guys think? Now that we got all this fancy stuff here, we might have to powder coat some more stuff, but I don't know. I kind of like this, kind of like this little wrinkle black, so we might have to, might have to change this up, but... Just another really nice looking, great performing product. The other thing that I wanna show you guys, I'm gonna take this off and kinda of give you guys a look inside here. That's a big important part. Another really, really huge thing is take a look inside here. You can see, this is all cast. So what that means is, look at that smooth transition. It is, this thing is smooth, 100% all the way through. Uh, it's not like pipes that you're trying to merge together. That is about as smooth of a transition as you are going to get. Completely wide open. There is just no restriction in this beast. And last but not least, it does come with this intercooler pipe uh, to match the opening here. I don't think that we're going to be able to use that seeing that we have, you know, our own funky second gen intercooler setup. That pipe that we were using before kind of did a did a snake underneath here, so we'll probably have to fabricate our own intercooler pipe, but if you guys have a second gen that you're putting this on, this pipe will bolt right up, obviously. Of course, comes with all of the hardware gaskets, all that good fun stuff. 